Now a warning about those spooky characters scaring you in haunted houses around Halloween. As Lisa Guerrero reports, a number of those guys behind the masks have been convicted of sex crimes. Every Halloween, haunted houses are a popular attraction across the USA. People flock to them just to be terrified. Odds are you've never thought about the live actors who provide all those thrills and chills. They're generally unrecognizable behind all that heavy monster makeup. But an Inside Edition investigation has found that some of them are monsters in real life. He's there hiding under makeup in the dark in a costume. Kim Neubauer says she discovered her coworker at this haunted house in Columbia Station, Ohio, was a registered sex offender who raped two kids. It's very scary to have people like that working around children in the dark. She says he and two other convicted sex offenders worked at the haunted house. They were recently fired, the owner told us. Our investigation discovered all these convicted sexual predators working with kids at haunted houses across the country. Just look at this mugshot. He's still in his Halloween makeup. In California, this man went by the name Trickster the Clown. He worked at a haunted house for years, but in June, he was convicted of running a sex ring and raping 18 women and girls. He's been sentenced to 200 years behind bars. I am here with the Bloodshed Brothers. and you He was hired by the self-proclaimed Bloodshed Brothers to creep the halls and scare guests at their hit haunted house, Field of Screams, outside L.A. Their real names are Zach and Jeremy Ball. Bree Drumright worked at the Bloodshed Brothers attraction in high school and says Zach Ball led her into an empty room at the haunted house to make out. I was 14. It still hurts. I, I wish I could get the closure, but it still hurts. Maddie Estrada also worked with the Bloodshed Brothers. They would bring coolers of alcohol um, and they would make sure it was like sweet stuff, like Mike's Hard Lemonade or, you know, like fruity things that would be, you know, yummy for kids. At just 16 years old, she says Zach Ball pressured her into a sexual relationship. He was 24. Is this man a predator? Absolutely. Absolutely. When I was a kid. <laughs> and just having this, this abusive man be the only person that I could rely on for advice or comfort, and he didn't even give that to me. Jeremy Ball was never charged, but Zach Ball pled guilty to sexually abusing a minor and now has to register as a sex offender. He was released after just one day in jail. It's such a slap in the face to, to me and, and all of the other victims. We caught up with him. Hi, Zach. I'm Lisa Guerrero with Inside Edition. Did you coerce a 16-year-old girl that was working for you into a sexual relationship? She says that you're a predator and a monster and you belong behind bars. What's your comment, sir? He didn't want to talk. So word of caution, enjoy your favorite haunted house this Halloween. Just be careful who's lurking in the dark. Yeah!